Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Uh, I hope you all can hear me, inshallah. Uh, my name is uh, Sana Khan, and um, I'm the Student uh, Affairs Support Officer. And on behalf of the Student Affairs Office at IOU, I welcome all of you all warmly to uh, the new semester of spring 2023, which has begun from the 1st of March. And um, Alhamdulillah, we see uh, quite a bit of you all have taken uh, the time out, Alhamdulillah, and joined the session today. Um, Alhamdulillah, thank you so much for joining in. And um, yes, uh, I think we already have several questions that are lined up, so I'll uh, start taking them, uh, inshallah, and uh, you can then pour in your questions uh, as and when we proceed with the session, inshallah. So the very first question that we have with us today is, how many semesters do we have for BBA students this spring 2023? Uh, okay. I think uh, the student is asking how many courses do you have? Because if you're asking about semesters, then uh, we have two semesters in a year. Okay, there, uh, that's irrespective of whichever stream you are in. There are two semesters, one is spring and the other is fall. The spring semester commences from March and it ends around uh, mid-August. And then the next semester, which is the fall semester, it begins from the 1st of September and it ends uh, around mid-February. Uh, so I hope that answers your question. And uh, if you're asking about how many courses do we have in a semester, then uh, it depends on uh, what study plan are you taking. If you are taking or if you're opting for uh, the part-time program, then you have three courses and if you are going full time for BBA then you have up to six courses you know five or six depending upon the total credits that you are uh, enrolled in and do we attend all unit tests before attending the midterm exam no uh, midterm exams for the midterm exams you will attempt uh, up to uh, you know you'll attempt all the pre-midterm modules they are usually up to number 15 in most of the courses some courses may have less than 15, some may have more than 15, but most courses have up to 15 pre midterm modules, which you need to prepare for in order to give your midterm exams. Okay. The entire, uh, you know, um, course, in all the 30 modules or, you know, approximately 30 or 30 plus modules, uh, those are, you know, generally not required for the midterm. Yes. The next question is, are we to attend all the unit tests anytime we want before the midterm? So no, you will attend the unit tests only for the pre-midterm modules and uh, before the midterm exams. So you need to make sure that you complete all of those module tests that are the pre-midterm module tests or the unit tests before the midterm exam commences. Okay, so there's a deadline for that. Uh, again, if you go to your dashboard very quickly, I can show that to you. Um, just give me a moment. I can quickly take you to the dashboard. Okay. I can just quickly take you to the dashboard. Uh, um, Okay, so if you look at your dashboard, you will find the, under the IU schedule block, you will find the academic calendar, okay? You can click on this and you will have all the important dates over here for you to refer to, right, for your program, okay? And you can, uh, it is highly advised that you save a copy of this on your desktop or your personal computer so that you can refer to this as and when required and you can keep all of these dates in mind when you are studying okay so it has all the important deadlines so here as you can see it says deadline to complete the pre-midterm module tests and it gives you the deadline so please keep all of these deadlines in mind inshallah so that and plan your uh, semester accordingly inshallah so that you can um, you don't miss out on anything right um okay question 
do you have the official schedule for the lectures live sessions and when will it start okay uh, live sessions uh, except for the tajweed uh, you know courses we have only two live sessions in a semester that is one pre midterm and one post uh, you know uh, pre uh, you know before the final exams and those are announced on the forums by the respective course teachers so you need to check your uh, you know your your forums the the you know uh, the forums that you have with the announcements are made those need to be checked regularly um, as you can see so for example if i take you to i'm sorry if i take you to courses okay if you if you go to any one of the courses you can find different forums here okay so the announcements forum is very very important it uh, it gives you all the important and relevant announcements so please keep a keep an eye on this and inshallah you can um, you know you will know when the, the the live session will be taking place inshallah right okay as for tajweed of course uh, for those who are enrolled in tajweed 101 or tajweed 102 uh, you know for them you can definitely from the 20th of uh, March, inshallah, the groups will be available. So you can, inshallah, join the groups uh, according to your timings and the days on which your classes will be available. And then you can join, inshallah. Okay, how to register for exam centers? Okay, how to register for exam centers? Again, you go back to your dashboard. Okay, you scroll down. You can see this exams block here. So this is where you're going to. you know, register for your exam. So please kindly go through this very, very carefully. Please take some time out and read this very carefully because this is very important, right? And then you proceed to register. Okay. And yes, now here, of course, uh, depending on whichever is your country of residence, it will show you uh, the centers from that particular place. Okay. And then you can select your center of choice and then proceed. Right. How and do you have exam centers in uh, KSA? Yes, definitely, we do have exam centers in KSA. So if uh, you know you are residing there, then definitely please follow the link as I just showed, and you can definitely go to this particular page. So here, as it is showing, you know, for uh, for Qatar, it for you it will show for KSA. Okay, so you can inshallah check accordingly. I have a few questions about doctorate during the semester. How much work is needed? So for now, actually, the PhD program is on hold. So uh, we will not be sharing any further information unless and until the program is resumed. So I would have to skip that question. OK, when will you give the assignments for each subject? OK, the assignments for each subject, uh, subjects will be released on the 20th of uh, this month, inshallah. OK. And again, if you go back to your courses, you will find the assignment for each course on the respective assignment page. Okay, so if you scroll down, do you see this section? Currently it says hidden from students because it's not yet available. Once it is available, inshallah, it will be, you know, it will be highlighted. You can click on this, on this particular uh, block here, and then it will take you to the assignment page. Uh, the assignment page is, uh, you know, when you go to the, uh, when you go to that page, there will be a document, usually it's a PDF file, or at times it may be a Word document, which has generally two questions out of which students are expected to do one. All the other guidelines and requirements are mentioned in that document, and you are requested to kindly go through it and uh, begin working on your assignments as soon as they're released, because, you know, if the, the sooner you begin, the more better your your work will be you know because you will get enough time to research well and write and you will also get enough time to revise the document before submitting you know keeping it for the last moment doesn't really help and the whole point of doing an assignment is lost in the process if it has if it is done very haphazardly and just you know um, for the sake of submitting so you know inshallah just take care of that would I be able to change my exam center? Yes, definitely you can change your exam center. You can uh, email us at the help desk, helpdesk at iou.edu.gm and inshallah we will be happy to assist you. Okay, I raised a ticket on 3rd March regarding my enrollment issue. My dashboard is still empty. Why is it taking so much time? Uh, I don't have your student ID, so uh, I wouldn't be very sure of what exactly is taking long, but um, uh, 
you know, perhaps you can send up a follow up email, uh, email uh, checking about your uh, case. It's usually peak time. Um, there may be some delayed responses, you know, payment, uh, payment confirmations generally do take time, especially if they're bank payments, uh, you know, uh, because, you know, we have a global setup, so it takes time for confirmations to come in. So um, perhaps because that could be one of the reasons why there is a delay. IO is working on getting the university listed on WHED's database. I'm not quite sure what, what does this um, stand for. Uh, perhaps if you can email us at the help desk, then we can uh, check with our quality assurance officer and uh, help you with the information, inshallah. Do we have to attend online classes or we can see lectures later in our community? Yes, so uh, as you know, our lectures are pre-recorded. You can uh, listen to those lectures. We also have supplementary sessions. Okay, uh, like for example, as you can see here, these are previous revision sessions, which you can see. You can also go through these module uh, videos or audios, whatever you're comfortable with. And uh, you can definitely do that. But the only thing that you have to keep in mind is the schedule, which I just shared like some minutes ago, the PDF document. Please keep those dates in mind and you know plan your studies accordingly. So that you are you you have the convenience of watching it whenever you you want to, but of course there is a deadline within which your module tests and your midterms and your assignments have to be completed and submitted. Okay, so that needs to be kept in mind. Salam alaikum from Switzerland. Alaikum assalam. May I kindly ask, what are the formal conditions of the center? Could it be like an embassy or official university? Yes, it can be uh, either of these places. Um, again, if I take you to the uh, main dashboard and to the exam center block here. You can uh, look at this exam arrange arrangement. So here are the exam center arrangement. You have the entire um, you know text here, which explains what can be an exam center. Okay, what are the requirements basically of an exam center? So you can take the time to just go through this, and if you feel that the center which you wish to suggest fulfills these requirements then you're more than welcome to suggest a new center. Of course, if there is already an existing center pretty much close to the area where you are already staying in and there's an existing uh, IOU center, then of course, so you should uh, take the efforts to, to use the same center because you know approving a new center does take time. But yes, it's understood that if it's an absolutely new place that you know uh, your area may be a, a place where there are no IOU centers, then you're more than welcome to suggest the center. For midterm exams, what is the exam format? Uh, I'm sorry, sister, I don't know which stream you are in. So if the stream uh, would have been specified, that would help me to answer your question. Um, is IU getting to be recognized in, uh, so yeah, in, in Australia. Okay, so these are again, a very specific, uh, you know, country specific accreditation questions. Again, I would request you to email the help desk so that we can you know check with our quality assurance uh, officers officer that we have inshallah so uh you know i again would request you to email us there inshallah of iou offers placement for students we do have the uh, you know corporate relationship uh, program that's available for students so we do have internships available and you know at different um, companies and uh, institutes that way so you know if you fit the profile then um you can definitely apply for those. Um, is there a minimum of module tests per week which should be done or is there a recommendation? Uh, yes, you know, actually if you take like, let's say, I'm just giving an example. If you're, if you're, if you're just taking two, two, um, two courses, then of course you require four to six hours of uh, of study, study uh, hours basically per, per week. You know, that's how roughly, you know, this is this is just a rough idea that I'm giving you. Of course, um, some may require less time, some may require more. So it depends on how, uh, you know, how well you can grasp the, the, the topics that are, you know, discussed and how comfortable you are and how quick you can learn. So that may vary from one student to another. How can you help a student that should have sponsor, but he is waiting for the approves on June? I am sorry, I don't understand the question. If you are asking about scholarships, 
So if uh, if you are a scholarship student or you are you know you wish to apply for scholarships at IOU, then um, you can email us at the help desk, and we will inshallah look into your request and you know then guide you accordingly. So I'm assuming you're asking about scholarships. I'm not very sure. Can I change to uh, change for IAP to bachelor's in Arabic language? Yes, you can do that. But for that, you would need um, uh, to have completed your high school. So we need a high school certificate for enro enrolling in the bachelor's in Arabic language. That's number one. Number two, um, the credits from uh, that you have completed in IAP cannot be transferred to your uh, bachelor's in Arabic language. Okay. Uh, Okay, the next question is, I uploaded my documents, wanted to study bachelor's in psychology, and previously I was doing diploma in psycho psychology and didn't continue it. Okay, so uh, I don't know if that's a question or what is your question, sister, if you're waiting for admissions, have you not, you know, have you not received a response from the IOU team? Uh, what is the status? I mean, or if you're saying you were doing diploma in psychology at IOU and you want you want to move to bachelor's in psychology. I'm not quite sure. Perhaps if you can just reshare your question uh, again, you know, um, asking what exactly you want to be answered, maybe that would help, inshallah. How can someone apply for scholarships? So if you want to apply for scholarships, if you are a, um, if you are a, uh, you know, if you are a student who has already joined the program, assuming you have. <coughs> so if you have already joined the program, and you're enrolled in the courses, then um, you have to make sure that you are enrolled in, you know, six courses and you pass all six courses or at least five out of the six courses in the semester in order to be eligible to apply for scholarship. Okay. And this is, again, I'm assuming that this particular student is from a degree program, a bachelor's degree program, because uh, scholarships are only given for IAP and bachelor degree programs. Okay. We do not provide scholarships for um, uh, certificate and uh, associate degree programs. Okay, I'm a BBA a student full time, which means I will be doing six courses. Is it possible for me to do only three courses this semester and three in the next? Yes, you can do that. Okay, you can do that, but you will have to request the help desk to change your study plan because now your study plan is full time and you want to move to part part time you know part time study plan allows you to take three courses full time uh, you know will not allow you to take three courses so you can definitely uh, email the help desk and you can cite your reasons in detail as to why you want to request this uh, change of study plan okay okay uh, i think the same sister has uh, you know she has a, she's back with her question she says i created two accounts i mean for bachelors in psychology now i'm facing problem problem one has to be removed but things aren't getting solved. Okay, sister, um, if you can perhaps send uh, an, uh, an, an email again as a reminder to the info desk, um, you know, perhaps we will, inshallah, try and follow it up. I will, uh, inshallah, remember your name. And uh, I will also uh, share it with the team and uh, ask them to follow up your case, inshallah, and update you accordingly. Okay, uh, what's the last date of registration for spring semester? The last date uh, for spring is uh, the enrollments close on the last day of March. Okay, so yes. Assalamu alaikum wa wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. My question is, should I wait till I completed all the module tests and its respective exams before I take another course? No, no, you can, uh, you know, um, see different students have different uh, studying patterns. Uh, so some people, uh, some, some students have, may have this habit of, you know, allotting specific days for particular courses. Okay. Uh, some may want to complete the pre midterm modules of one course completely and then move on to the next course. So it's entirely up to you how you wish to, how you study, what is your studying style. You know, uh, all you have to keep in mind is the deadlines. Keep the deadlines in mind, uh, you know, uh, you know, do a calculation of all the total modules that you have to do across all the courses that you're uh, enrolled in, okay? So let's say if you're enrolled in four courses uh, on an average, so let's say there are 15 modules in each course. So you multiply four into 15, and then you see the total number of modules that you have. You divide that between the weeks that you have until the midterms and, uh, 
that's how you can uh, get an idea of how many you know modules you have to do per day or perhaps some of you might have some more time on the weekends because most of our students are working alhamdulillah and uh, work professionals that definitely don't get enough time during the week it might be a little difficult um not that you know i'm saying that you don't study at all during the week but what i'm trying to say is maybe the weekends can be uh, you know kept aside for more modules you know inshallah so that's the way you you're going to uh, basically divide your uh, your courses and study how can we get scholarship and how can i apply to register for more than 60 credits as full time how can we get scholarship uh, you can email us at the help desk uh, inshallah and uh, we will see your records and then guide you accordingly how can i apply uh, okay more than 60 credits is not possible uh, with the revised programs because uh, full time the maximum total credits allowed a 60, you cannot go beyond that. So I'm sorry, you would have to stick to 60. Okay. What steps can I take to identify and pursue an innovative project uh, that is relevant and significant in current times, leveraging my expertise in digital platform development? Okay, I think this particular question is related to perhaps information technology. I'm assuming the student is from that stream. I suggest, um, since it's an academic question, I request you to direct it to uh, one of your course teachers, inshallah. They will be in a better position to advise you on this. Uh, I represent the admin, so I would not be in the position to answer this for you, I'm sorry. Okay, can I transfer from IAP session to BA Arabic language? Yes, like I just mentioned some minutes ago, you can do that, but uh, you will have to have a high school certificate in order to move to a bachelor's program, that's one. Number two, your, um, your courses that you've completed in IEP cannot be transferred to uh, the BA uh, ALS program. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam. I would please like to know the minimum and maximum duration of time that is allowed to complete the CPI. Okay. So the minimum time is. Um, one year okay and uh, the maximum time is uh, it is up to four years but then again you uh, you know it is it is it is preferable that you kind of complete it you know as soon as you can because you know um, taking a lot of gaps of course what happens is the information that you learn is also lost and uh, you know over a period of time and then when you come back um, the the older courses that are completed the the information is generally lost so uh, i would suggest that you complete the course it's just a one year course so try and complete it as soon as you can inshallah and in certain cases of course extensions are given uh, but you know we need to take formal approval for that okay when will the live session start i think i have uh, i have just uh, you know as i mentioned earlier we don't have live sessions um, anymore, except for Tajweed and uh, 101 and 102. Uh, most of the courses, in fact, uh, I would say that except for Tajweed courses, the remaining courses all have uh, just two live sessions, uh, one before midterm and one before final exams. So the announcements will be made on the forums and you can inshallah join the sessions. Of course, if you still have any doubts in between, you are more than welcome to email your course teachers like you have, if you go to your course page, okay. Um, if you can look at this particular side here, it says teacher contact. Okay, it has the contact details of the teacher. So inshallah, you can email the teacher and you can uh, ask them your queries if you have any, uh, inshallah, and they will be happy to assist you. Okay. Yeah, so I think I just answered the next question. When I have difficulty understanding a topic, can I have a one-to-one -one session with my lecturer to clarify? You can definitely email them and you can request this if if they are you know if they're available, uh, if they're willing to have a one-on-one -on -one session, then you can go ahead, of course, or you can you know clarify it on email, perhaps, inshallah. So you can discuss it uh, with the respective course teacher. Will the grades? Will be the grades recognized later if I continue on a master's program grades from Islamic banking? Uh, I'm not sure I quite understand this question, but uh, just to 
just to let you know, we do not have a master's program in Islamic banking for now. We just have master's in Islamic studies. So yes, what is extending extended extend time thirty percent on professor's profile? Okay, I am not too sure what is this referring to. Perhaps you can take a screenshot and share it with the help desk, and we can check it out for you. Okay. Do, do the university have an exam center in Kashmir? Yes, we do. You know, Alhamdulillah, we do. Uh, you can definitely, like I just uh, demonstrated some time ago, how you can look for your center. You can definitely look for it. And if the area that you're that you're living in does not have an IU established IU exam center, then you can definitely suggest one. More than welcome. Unit tests, yes, yes, unit tests are done at home. The question is, are unit tests done in your home? Yes, unit tests are supposed to be done at home. If you're from the revised programs, you will go to the center for your midterms and for your final exams. Uh, but if you're from the old programs, then you will only go to the center for the final exams, okay? Uh, midterm, uh, sorry, unit tests or module tests, they're all done from home. Shall I be able to speak Arabic and understand Quranic Arabic after completing I IAP? Uh, that all depends on how well you grasp the language because you know ultimately uh, you are, when you learn a language, it um, ultimately comes down to how much have you understood uh, the, the grammar, how much have you understood the concept of, of the language and how well are you able to comprehend it and uh, apply it when you're trying to read Arabic. So it all comes down to that. So, you know, it would be hard to give like, you know, a guaranteed response that, you know, after this course, you will definitely learn uh, how to you know speak Arabic or for that matter, understand all kinds of Arabic. But uh, you can definitely go through the curriculum to get an idea of what kind of books uh, are being used. And uh, that would perhaps give, give you an idea of what is being covered in the program. And then inshallah, you can decide for yourself whether you would like to pursue or learn Arabic in that manner. Okay. Do you suggest books as well for the semester? I'm not sure what books are you referring to. Uh, the course textbooks, as you can see, you know, they're there on the respective course page in the form of PDFs, which you can download and save a copy on your desktop. You can also print it for personal use. Uh, you cannot distribute it, but you can definitely print a copy for personal use. Uh, if you want some more books uh, on your topic, uh, on your, on your, uh, you know, on, on a certain topic for your particular stream or for your particular subject that you're asking about, then you can definitely ask the course teacher. He or he would be the best person to advise you on that. Will the marks of the module test be added to my midterm exams? They are not added to your midterm exams, but they contribute to your overall grade. So again, if you go to your course page, okay, on the right-hand side, if you if you look at this, the evaluation scheme. It gives you, you know, the breakup, the session tests or the module tests. They contribute to 15% of the total grade, midterm exams about 30%, final exams about 40, and assignments about 15. Okay. So, and the passing grade is 50. So, yes, um, this is how the marks are distributed. So, each component that you attempt is important and it contributes to the overall grade. Okay. I'm a BAS, BAIS student full-time. I've cleared all subjects up to seven semester. This is the last semester. Couldn't enroll. Mail repeatedly replying 36 subject remaining. Truth is only seven subject remaining. Okay, sister, we will get back to you if you are in touch with us at the help desk. Uh, from your name, I can recognize that uh, you, uh, you, you have been emailing us. So, inshallah, we will again check and let you know uh, what is it like? Perhaps it could be the case that uh, are you are you a dual program student? It could be that you know the common courses um, you have done in another program and the credits have to be transferred to BAIS old. So that could be the case why it's showing more courses and uh, you know you could perhaps check that. Hundred percent. Oh, okay. How many units do I have to do in a week? in order to finish the semester because I'm studying in one more college. Okay. Uh, again, uh, so if you want help with your studying, um, you know, pattern or how to go about studying, we also have Alhamdulillah, the student counselor with us. You can uh, definitely book an appointment with her. 
she can help you with managing your studies and giving you a few tips of, uh, as to how to go about, um, you know, uh, balancing, inshallah, your, you know, if you're attending more than one uh, one degree at a time. So you can definitely get in touch with her. Um, also, like I mentioned earlier, um, take into account your uh, the, the event schedule, the deadlines, excuse me. And then uh, divide your modules accordingly in the weeks that you have. And, uh, you know, you can get an idea of how many modules you're supposed to study in a day. Can public library eligible to be an exam center? So like I said, again, uh, you know, you need to go to this particular link from the dashboard, the exam center arrangement. You can go through the requirements of the exam center. And uh, if you feel that your suggested center fulfills these requirements, then you can suggest inshallah. What is the minimum number of courses to be enrolled for scholarship student BA ALS? Now see the revised programs, uh, unlike the old programs, the revised programs work on credit systems, okay? And your total credit should be 60, okay? In a semester, if you're a full-time student. So sometimes this 60 uh, can be, you know, if there are five courses, so each course is 12 credits, so it'll come to 60. So then you cannot enroll in a sixth course. Sometimes, you know, uh, if, if, if uh, you know, any other course has lesser credits, then of course you can enroll in, uh, in you know, uh, in six courses. But um, if the course credits are coming up to 60 and uh, let's say you're enrolled in five courses, then you cannot go beyond that, okay? Is it allowed for scholarship students to waive courses in case they have Yes, you can apply for uh, credit transfer, but then again, it depends on which uh, which uh, stream you are in. So, um, you I would suggest that you email the help desk so that we can check your stream and then guide you accordingly. Is BAIS course also available in Urdu? Uh, no, we don't, sister. Okay, uh, for midterm examination, BAALS first semester, six courses, what is the exam format? Okay, so for, for the revised programs uh, in your midterms and in your finals, along with the MCQs or the, or, you know, the, the, the multiple choice questions, you also have the OEQs, which are the open-ended questions, okay? Uh, so again, if I would suggest you go to the student support tab, okay? And you, then you go to the student handbook, okay? And this handbook basically has all of these answers for you. You know, it is, uh, it will help you take some time out and it's, it's, uh, it's a booklet with uh, several pages, but I suggest you go through this, okay? It has uh, several topics which uh, will benefit you, inshallah. So I advise you to go through this, inshallah, you will get a fair idea of, um, what are the different, um, you know, aspects of the university, inshallah. So please take some time out and go through this. You will also find uh, all of this breakup of the MCQs and OEQs, okay? Right. Uh, checking the portal now, it says only finals are to be taken from exam centers. Is it okay to recognize that I will be taking my midterms from home? Yeah, if you're an IAP student, yes, of course, you will only go to the exam center for your finals and not for your midterms. That's right. I've enrolled in BSc Psychology. I wanted to ask, is there any notes that we have uh, to learn? Basically, I want to ask, what should we learn for exams? As it, uh, if uh, I'm assuming you've enrolled for uh, the new BSc Psychology. So like, you know, if you look at any course, this is how it is, uh, the course page looks like. So you have your uh, course text and study material available, right? And then for each module or each unit, you will see the topics that are covered. It also gives you the reading assignment. So this is what you're going to study, okay? And like you see, after 15 modules, so like in this course, uh, there are you know 17 pre-midterm modules. After that, you have the midterm exam. So all these modules that are there before the midterm block, need to be done. So for each module, it is clearly mentioned what needs to be read. And of course, for the, for the, mid, for the midterm exam, you're going to study all of these 
modules, okay, right up to module 17 for this course. This is just an example. Of course, you need to check for your uh, for your courses respectively. Okay, so yes, this is what you're going to study. Then also we have the course notes section, but um, this section again, not all the courses will have notes here. These are generally notes which have been added by previous students who, uh, who have prepared their own notes and things like that. So they might have added these notes over the years. Uh, but again, these notes are not uh, proofread. Okay, so these notes may have errors. So you have to be careful when you're referring uh, to these notes. So um, it will be your responsibility to uh, make sure that you know any error or anything, if it is seen, then you know you are careful about it because um, these are not you know uh, checked by the teacher. Okay, these are just added by the past students. Okay. How can I get books that is important for my stream from the library? Um, okay, so the books that are, as I mentioned, if they are the course textbooks, they are available on the respective course page. If there are any other additional books that you're referring to, then uh, it would depend which stream are you from. Uh, and uh, we do have a library, uh, digital library uh, of, of IOU. Uh, which you can visit definitely and you may find uh, certain pdfs over there as well so i'm not too sure which stream are you from so i will not be able to give a very elaborate answer on that even we are online students we have to attend live exam for b yes all uh, see iou programs are all online okay so even if you're giving your exams your final exams they will be at the exam center and they will be online. Okay, so it has to be you need a, a desktop in order to attempt your exams. So going to a center does not, uh, you know, imply that you're going to give a written exam. We are going to handwrite your exam. It is going to be on the computer and it is going to be an online exam. Okay. I have been issues using uh, issues ac accessing the Oxford reference library. Yes, the Oxford reference library does have an issue. Okay, uh, we, uh, unfortunately, we, we are not yet able to resolve that. Uh, perhaps, you know, if you can, again, email us at the help desk, we can check with the librarian, inshallah, and see if any uh, progress has been made in this direction, uh, you know, inshallah. Okay. My question is, can IU render job for students after graduating? See, uh, you know, any uh, requirements or any availabilities of jobs are usually posted on the social media uh, uh, channels of IOU. And if you feel that you fit a certain profile, then definitely you can apply. And, you know, uh, if you if if uh, if the HR feels that you do fit the profile, so inshallah, you know, you will be called for an interview. <laughs> I'm still unable to enroll and I have paid. Uh, I suggest you email the help desk because uh, again, we'll have to see what has gone uh, wrong that, that the system is preventing you from enrolling, right? So uh, please, uh, you need to do that. How do I know if my attested ID and high school certificates which I posted were delivered to Gambia? Um, you can check with uh, the postal services that you used uh, or the courier services that you've used. Um, perhaps they might be able to, or, you know, usually, usually they have a tracking number which you can use to track. And um, if, they, if it is showing that it has reached the Gambia, then please let us know at the help desk. Then we can ask uh, one, you know, uh, so one of the Gambia officers to inshallah, you know, check it up for you. Um, yeah. What is the minimum time and required courses to complete the CIBE program? Minimum time is one year. Certificate programs, are, you know, they take up to one year. There are two semesters, um, usually with six courses in each semester, right? I'm currently enrolled in IIP. I want to know really how much time I'm supposed to spend on the modules in a week. I think I have been answering this. So um, if you still are not very sure about how to go about studying, then you can definitely consult the student counselor. Inshallah, she would be happy to assist you. Session, what are the session tests under evaluation scheme? So yeah, uh, the session tests are these module tests. 
If you look at the module test, there is a module test after each, at the end of each module. Okay. So this is what it is referring to because each of this test is also graded, right? Is it possible to do two degrees simultaneously? That depends on uh, the, the degree that you're currently pursuing, sister. Uh, the dual degree program combination is available if for some degrees, whereas it's not available for the others. So it would depend on uh, which degree you are pursuing. So you can email us at the help desk and inshallah, we will let you know whether you can take another program or not, okay? Can I take exemption exams for FIC and some other courses? Uh, exemption exams, uh, I'm assuming maybe uh, you may have studied the courses at some other place. Uh, again, I'm not too sure which stream are you from. I would suggest you email the help desk and uh, if you have any certification, any formal education uh, you know, Islam, in Islamic studies or something, you can share those certificates. We will see depending on your stream if uh, what can be done, inshallah. Okay? When will our payments be confirmed? Uh, payments, uh, if usually bank transfers do take a little time, as I said, because we have a global setup and, um, you know, where confirmation do take some time. So uh, if it has been quite some time, so I, I request you to email us at the help desk. We can check with the payments department as to what is causing the delay. Right. <clears throat> How do we give our exams? Uh, like we can, we give in our own wording or it should be word to word like in lectures. No, of course, you know, I'm sure uh, you must have given exams uh, before this, you know, maybe uh, for your, uh, in your school, in high school. Uh, it's the same way. We never, you know, uh, talk in the pattern. It's more important to understand the concept and you write, out, write it out in that, in that manner. Of course, this is excluding uh, quoting Quran or Hadith. But uh, apart from that, of course, if you're writing an open-ended answer, it would, uh, you are not expected to, you know, uh, just paste it verbatim, uh, right? You need to understand the concept and explain uh, when, you, when you're writing the answer, explain it on your own words, inshallah. Okay. I've enrolled in the BIS course. I want to enroll in Tajweed. It says Tajweed 100 course registration is not allowed for a program stream. For BAIS course, the new program, uh, Tajweed is not available, uh, but you can email the help desk. We'll see if, if something can be done, inshallah, right? Because you are referring to Tajweed 100. So let's see, inshallah, if we can do something, okay? I'm just registering for my course, but I understand classes have started. Will I still be able to meet up? Yes, inshallah, definitely you can. Um, you will have to, of course, make up for the missed time. Uh, because the the semester you know began on the first of March, so you will have a bit of catching up to do. But inshallah, I think uh, you should be able to uh, do that. Inshallah, right? And I feel Ramzan is uh, definitely a good time to um, um, you know to do your studies um, because it's um, Alhamdulillah. If you if you if you study with the intention of uh, serving Allah's Deen. If that's your intention, then of course, even your studies become an act of worship, right? So study with that intention, inshallah, of benefiting the ummah, of benefiting Allah's deen, and dedicate a good amount of time to your studies uh, in Ramadan. Try and do that, inshallah. Yes. Okay. Can I do up to master's and even doctorate with the current structure? Can I do this in my other school apart from IUU? Uh, Sorry, your question is not that clear. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Whether masters, if you're saying after completing your degree at IOU, you wish to pursue your masters and PhD at another university, inshallah, you can. Of course, again, it will all depend on whether the other university, uh, as, uh, you know, accepts the the degree of IOU. You know, so if that is acceptable, then you're more than welcome, inshallah, to study. Do you have timetable published for each course? No, we don't. Uh, like I said, we have a general schedule here, the event schedule, which is there on the dashboard. So you can uh, definitely go there. So this is this is the detailed event schedule if you click on this. And here you just have the brief uh, outline of the important dates, okay? 
inshallah you can save that what is social services and what connection does it have with our grades? I, I, I assume you're referring to community uh, services that we have. So community services, it's not, it's not graded, okay? There are certain amount of hours that you're supposed to uh, dedicate depending on the program that you're in. You have certain specific hours that have to be completed. And the whole idea of having community service is that you know the knowledge that we learn, you know, it has to be translated into action. It's very important, right? So whenever something is learned, unless and until it is not translated into action, it does not serve the purpose. So one of the ways of uh, benefiting others through the knowledge that is learned at IOU is through community service. You know, So it helps you to um, get involved in the community. It helps you to impart the knowledge perhaps that you learned at IOU. You, know, you can teach it to the others. You can um, help others you know, uh, in, in different ways. Um, uh, through different means, inshallah. And the whole idea is to bring the knowledge into action. So always, you know, take it in that sense because uh, alhamdulillah, there are a lot of benefits when you do community service. It gives you a great sense of satisfaction. It, it helps you to understand people. Um, it helps you to get connected with people. It also helps you to, you know, understand the difficulties that the, the less privileged have you know, in the society, if you're working with them. So, you know, there are, you know, there are many, many benefits of community service. So um, think about that, inshallah, and um, try to do your hours right. Okay. Uh, no, the MAALS program, there's a question if it has been started. No, uh, uh, sorry, we do not have an update yet about the Masters in Arabic program. Um, inshallah, whenever it is available, it will be announced, inshallah. If I pay my semester fee on Saturday or Sunday, will it be received by you on the same day? It depends, you know, if you are paying through Stripe, Stripe payments are instant. But if you are paying through bank transfers, then of course that does take some time. Must all my attested certificates be sent via airmail? Uh, I am not sure which stream are you in. If you are in the bachelor's program, then um, you need to send your the attested copy of your high school certificate, photocopy, okay, not the original document. If you are uh, in the master's program or in the BMAIS or BMARP program, then you will send your bachelor's um, uh, photocopy, uh, attested photocopy of the bachelor's uh, certificate. And yes, it is mandatory, you need to send it. So please make sure that the photocopy is attested and sent and not the original. We never ask for original documents. Okay, please don't send that. When, what can make student get expelled from IOU? Okay, <laughs> okay so, you know, there is a certain uh, breach if that, that, in the, there could be very various reasons. Uh, it could be based on um, uh, disciplinary grounds where uh, the student, you know, has been, extremely indisciplined with the teachers or with the admin. Um, it could also be breach of, uh, you know, a, the rules of IOU, perhaps, uh, ex, you know, getting hold of the exam passwords and using them personally, um, things like that. So that could be some of the reasons. Okay. I read somewhere on the website that a student has to attend at least one online session for a subject. Uh, no, that's not the case. It is only for uh, Tajweed 101, uh, Tajweed 102, but it is not the case for um, other programs, uh, sorry, other courses. You can definitely, um, sorry, uh, yeah, you can, uh, there are only two live sessions, like I've been saying. One is uh, before midterm and one is before the final exam. So there are only two live sessions for the other courses. As a first year student in banking finance, where should I take on community service? Right. So if you are in the bachelor's program, uh, then uh, the total community service hours required of you are 216. You can begin after completing 12 courses or you can begin right away in the first semester. If you already have the opportunity to do a community service, you're more than welcome to begin right away. Because... Uh, you know, the, so, the sooner you begin, the better. It's not, it's not compulsory that you have to complete 12 courses and only then can you do CS work. You can definitely begin from now and you can start submitting. Um, also, it is important, I would just like to point out 
that service uh, community service work that is done before joining IOU is not acceptable. So you need to do those um, those hours that you submit as CS work have to be done after joining IOU. Okay, so I hope uh, I was able to answer your questions. If there are still some clarifications or if things are not yet still clear or if you you know want something else you are more than welcome to email us at the help desk is help desk at iou.edu.gm you can definitely reach out to us and we will uh, be happy to assist you if there have been certain delays then please feel free to send a follow-up email okay and uh, we will check it out for you inshallah okay so I think with this, uh, we will end the session. Thank you so much for joining us today and for patiently listening out uh, to me. And JazakAllahu uh, khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.